But if you have a modeled 3D solid in our plan, this can generally not be evaluated in the report. You will see a message that no report can access it. You will need to convert these solids to user-defined architectural elements in order to evaluate them. These user-defined architectural elements then react to the change in the view. You can assign properties to the user-defined architectural elements before we adjust the view. An example is the assigning of the appropriate concrete material for a task involving concreting work. Where an object of this kind is then evaluated, the volume of concrete used is obtained here in cubic meters. However, user-defined architectural elements of this kind offer other options, particularly where the depiction in the ground plan is concerned. If you change the object, you are provided with a palette with which you can define the position of the section, this presently being at a height of 2 meters. In addition, you can specify how the sectioned edge should be displayed. A thick line is selected in this case. You can activate a surface element or a style area for the section surfaces. You then select how the visible edges, the hidden edges and the edges above the section are to be displayed. Specify the respective values here for the visible edges, the hidden edges and the edges above the section level. The user-defined architectural element now reacts with an appropriate view in which you can see a ground plan where the hidden edges of the pipeline are depicted with dashed lines and the edges above the section line are displayed as dashed and dotted. The visible edges are depicted with thin dashes while the thick dashes indicate the sectioned edges. The latter are surrounded by sectioned green surfaces. Naturally enough, further modeling of user-defined architectural elements of this kind is possible if you use the modeling tools for 3D modeling in the relevant perspective. An opening is integrated here in the partition wall using the extrude function. The ground plan of the user-defined architectural element adapts according to the depiction of the opening. The depiction can be adapted further if necessary if you modify the user-defined architectural element again and specify the position of the section level at another location. The position of the section level can therefore be modified by placing it higher up. The section is positioned differently in the isometry in the preview depending on the values you enter. You can also limit the height of the section if necessary. To do this, exclude the components located above from the height quota. The user-defined architectural element reacts to all these settings as seen here. As regards the arches of the components positioned above, the lines located above are hidden because they were deactivated in the section settings for this solid.